Hello, this is Tom Luke of mastgates.com, mastgates.com. And for people who want to take apart their Polaroid PlaySafe 3D printer, I have this spare one here to show you. Now, I've already partially taken it apart, so when you're gonna work on it, you push down on this little rings here, and that's what releases the tube. Now it turns out that this case is glued together to hold it, so you have to break the plastic apart. Besides taking out the four screws that are around the side, the little cover that goes on the motor, you have to squeeze it, pull that off, then undo the three screws that are here on the side. You first want to take this screw out first, and this is before removing the cover plate. Because if you take this screw out first, then you're able to remove the spring assembly. Okay. Squeeze, release, pressure, release the pressure on that screw, and now you can lift this up to remove the spring. And then you can undo the, the other two screws, remove this assembly, and then you can complete to pull this off around the, the motor end. Now what we have exposure here is we have our, our XY. We have a switch here for when the system is zeroing itself. There's one switch there and there's one switch over here. So it's, this takes care of the XY and for the Z positioning, there's a micro switch over on the side here. So when the table raises up, it'll activate. There, this plastic arm comes up and pushes on this switch. A common problem with these printers is you're not able to zero your build plate because there's not enough spacing. So by getting this opened, you can either add something to this plastic to build it up with some glue or epoxy, or if you're careful, use a, something to hold the switch arm and then use a screwdriver blade to pull the metal down. If you try to pull it down by itself, you risk breaking the plastic of the micro switch casing. This I've done with other micro switches. So it's, you have to support one end so you can bend this down and then it'll change the Z position for zeroing. So just give you a the view, the top view of this. This little circuit board here, 12 volts comes in and constant current is fed to an LED strip here. Then the wires run around to the other side and feed this other LED strip. And that's the system. So hopefully I'll I'll bend this and then I'm going to go through the zeroing so I can get this one back into production and making small parts for the kids. Thank you for viewing and enjoy your Polaroid. For me, I like